Hey there and welcome back to the course and in this video we are going to unlock the very important feature of Terraform that is the Terraform module. So in this class we are going to cover this concept only. Okay. So what is Terraform module? So in a very simple terms I will simply explain you like uh, so far we have written all our Terraform code in one single file right. So we have written our code for S3 and EC2. So all we have written in the same file and even we can say in the same folder right. But uh, in real world infrastructure which grows very fast, suppose you work in any uh, like uh, in a team and there is a requirement of create uh, 10 EC2 servers or 5 uh, S3 buckets or uh, 5 VPCs or uh, RDS okay so databases. So there is a requirement of multiple things at once so in that case you are not going to just copy and paste the thing. So, that's why we have a Terraform module. So Terraform module just like you can consider this as any programming language function. So we have uh, some functions, we write some code there and we can call this function multiple times and it will execute that much number of times. So similar way we are going to create a module okay and according to the requirement or the number of points which we want to create that resource we are going to simply call it for second third time like this. Okay so that's a very quick introduction of module. So I will simply explain you uh, how the what we say mm, directory structure will be so for us the current directory structure you can see here we have this uh, terraform basics or if I just do uh, okay I was deleting some resource let me just destroy it okay I will simply explain you here okay so we have something slash home I use sorry for handwriting okay in that we have terraform basics right this we have after that what we have uh, in that we have main.tf right after that we have outputs dot tf then we have some some tf force like terraform dot tf force and so on okay so these are like for now is the root module okay in one file only we are writing everything so these are like root modules okay so now for example I have to create some modules okay suppose for example I have to create an s3 bucket module okay so how it will be so this is the terraform basics directory inside this this directory I will be creating in this directory I will have my own main.tf here I will have my outputs.tf specially for that particular resource for s3 bucket if I'm creating okay or values.tf and then in this we are having already main.tf we are having provider we are having outputs we are having terraform.tf first so these will act as the root module okay so too much of theory for now let's do hands on now okay i explained to the folder structure just we have to just work on the module thing so basically we are going to create an s3 bucket module okay so let me just clear it okay so i was just explaining you the right structure right so if you do the pwd here you can see terraform basics is under ayush and inside terraform basics we have all these folders main output provider oh, sorry folder and files okay dot tf first all those things so now what i'm going to create just clear the screen and create a directory s3 s3 underscore module okay inside see s3 model we have nothing okay here also you can see direct is created here we'll be creating three files touch main dot tf then we'll be creating uh, outputs.tf and we can create a uh, variable stock tf okay so these three files has been created and uh, from the old uh, main.tf we are going to simply comment out the bucket things okay we are not going to use it for outputs also we are just going to comment okay easy to will leave it uh, keep it as it is from variables also we are going to comment then tfos also will be commenting okay so these files we have commented now in main.tf we can simply do uh, resource okay and i will write 
AWS S3 bucket and uh, here also we can just give the name as same AWS S3 bucket or S3 module we can give okay this is done then uh, uh, in variables we can create a variable so we'll simply copy the variable from here this we can use okay simply uncomment it and uh, just i'm going to remove this description it is not required okay and uh, outputs we can keep it as output no need we can give in to the root model we can just delete this filing node okay in main.tf what is there how we are defining we are defining the bucket and acl okay so simply do bucket sorry bucket equal to war dot bucket name and acl access control list we can give it as private okay so private like this okay we are good to go so we have this s3 module now and now uh, my use case is suppose I want to create two S3 buckets. So I'm not going to just create like this resource into S3 bucket and copy paste the thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the module keyword. Okay. So we are going to use module and we are going to use S3 underscore bucket one. This is the module name. And inside that you can give the source of your module. So our source is S3 module okay right uh, s3 module after that you can give uh, here uh, the name of the bucket the variable you can provide value of that variable so here you can give uh, my s3 bucket one underscore some random numbers so that it will be unique okay that's nice and then in the outputs we can simply print the variables uh, ID of those buckets. So output uh, S3 underscore bucket one. Okay, and value equal to. We can give anything like uh, module dot S3 bucket one. Right. Dot anything is. I don't think anything is required. Dot yeah. Okay. So S3 bucket we can give I guess dot uh, the what is the name of our bucket here bucket name we are given the variable name okay so we can simply keep the bucket name but why I'm not getting the option let's try it like this okay if we get any error we'll see now we can print the output for the bucket 2 also okay module s3 bucket 2 and that i'm going to create so in main.tf here in our root module just simply use the module okay s3 bucket 2 and my bucket 2 i can use here right okay so i guess we are good to go yeah Variable something we have here. Let me just clear the screen and go back. And I have to just do Terraform when it will do once. Okay, now we will be doing Terraform plan. And uh, here it is showing some error. Let me just check. okay for output only we are getting the error okay let me just check uh, where is output we can write like this again aws underscore s3 bucket underscore one and the value equal to modules s3 bucket two And then the variables we have this output bucket name. Okay. Uh, if we create output file here,
output s31 value equal to what is the remainder tfl aws3 bucket dot s3 model right aws3 bucket dot id okay and in output we can use s31 okay sorry i told you not to use output but it is required actually so we'll again create one more output for s32 okay here also uh yeah this is not required a single output is only we can use right dot s31 only so instead of s31 i can just change the name here uh bucket underscore id this i can use so that will be no confusion for you guys okay so yeah I guess we are good to go now. Let me just do now plan. It should work now. We'll wait. So we can see we have this S3 bucket module name and output we are using S3 bucket S3 model dot ID. Okay, plan is done. In variable we are using the bucket name then in our root module we are using two times bucket one and bucket two and we are giving two separate buckets and let me just clear the screen now plan is done next step is uh, just apply okay so we should have uh, three sources uh, uh, two buckets and one ec2 instance it will take a few seconds of time to create those resources we'll just wait for it Okay, it's asking me to add three more similar warnings or not. Yes, and you can see our changes to output plan three to add is all you can see. Okay, give yes. And you can see instance is getting created bucket, both buckets, and you can see a module they're using. S3 module. And even uh, for your information, it's not like uh, we can use only this uh, internal modules which are creating. Even we can use the like public publicly available modules. So you can find out onto the registry of Terraform website we have there. Okay. And we got an issue. What is the issue? The specified bucket is not valid. What does it mean? Let me just check. Creating an S3 bucket, my SC bucket one operation is response uh, host ID. Invalid bucket name. Okay, invalid bucket name it is showing. Uh, where, 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 where? We can add uh, in main TF only, right? I guess underscore is not allowed. We'll just remove it. now we can try so what is the criteria I guess uh, special characters not allowed while creating a bucket that's why it might have gave us this error mm -hmm. we'll just wait okay do yes This error should uh, we should have get in the plan itself. Terraform should do something. <laughs> okay, here we can see it is still creating. Okay, EC2 was created, so now it is getting destroyed. Okay. So I guess there was issue with bucket only then bucket name. 
okay so here you can see model creation is complete ec2 is getting destroyed and again it will try to create okay in output we can see the bucket id and the public ip of the ec2 instance okay ec2 instance is also not decorating so i hope you got the concept how models we can use so this is an s3 model only similar way you can try on your own to create a model of your ec2 instance okay just uh, let us know in the discussion section so that uh, we can help you with that in ec2 if you face any error okay here ec2 is still creating okay so here you can see the three resources have been added and output you can see the bucket one public ip bucket two and the security group id okay so in this way you you can use the terraform models to reuse uh like any resource which you want to be created in your infrastructure so that's all for this video and uh, i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please ask us in the discussion section